majority of Ghanaians think government must devote more resources towards investigating and punishing corrupt officials. Most Ghanaians believe ordinary citizens can help fight corruption. However, majority still believe ordinary citizens who report incidents of corruption risk reprisal. Majority of Ghanaians want stiffer punishment for corrupt officials. So these are their findings. Looking at the police, judges and magistrates, we realize that those who said some, most, or all of them are corrupt. It's ranging from 78% to 92%. And these are all public officials or public institutions. So there is high level of corruption there. And only small majorities, that is 3 to 11% said none of them is corrupt. Then in the private or informal, private sector or among informal leaders, we see, see the same situation, but the rates are a bit lower compared to the public officials. And surprisingly, when I did the analysis and found that now the traditional leaders are also hitting the 80s, I started trying to understand the basis of that 80% there. And some of the issues that came to mind is, we all know how the traditional leaders are selling land double left and right and center and all those things. So these things may have also influenced that decision. We can also even see the relig religious leaders. They are also rising, 74%. So now people are believing those who have the moral right to even help us out of this wood are themselves engaged in corruption. And I think it's a serious issue.